Hi there, this is Mr. Evans with a video on qualitative and quantitative data. Um, so, uh, looking at this bullet point here in the specification. Um, so, we've looked at market research and what that is, and uh, looked at different uh, types of market research, primary and secondary. Now, we're going to have a look at the sort of data um, that that market research can bring us. And there are two types of data that you to be aware of. Uh, the first is quantitative data. So quantitative, uh, the word um, is related to quantity, uh, so it's all about statistical information. Um, and uh, quantitative data is statistical information that tends to be focused on identifying patterns of consumer behaviour. In other words, um, looking for um, trends, um, for the sort of things that consumers are doing. So quantitative data it provides numerical information about how consumers or even competitors behave. So an example would be 19% of commuters purchase a hot drink in the morning. Um, you might also look at things like the accounts of your uh, rivals that would provide you with some quantitative data. Okay, what are their cost of sales? their income statement, um, you know, what are they spending their money on. That also provides some quantitative data. So it's not just consumers, it could also be looking at competitors too. Um, so it's helpful for identifying trends. You could, uh, for example, with the commuter one there, you may uh, compare that to last year. Is this increasing? Is it decreasing? What's going on in this market? Um, and uh, the information tends to be collected by questionnaires, by observations, by experiments. So it's uh, numerical information. It looks at what consumers are doing um, and helps businesses to identify trends. On the other hand, qualitative data is the gathering of in-depth information explaining those patterns of behaviour. So it's all very well saying that, you know, 19% commuters get a hot drink or 87% of um, our customers prefer this model in white to black but it doesn't explain why that might be okay so uh, qualitative data I always uh, explain is it, it's more quality information that looks to explain patterns of consumer behavior so you might find out that the reason that 19% you know the like that 19% of commuters is buying a hot drink is because they believe that the coffee is better quality than they can brew at home. Um, so you could then take that information and use it in your marketing. So if you know that the consumers are buying the coffee on the basis of quality, that might help you um, set some advertising, i.e. you would emphasise the quality of the product ahead of the price because this is the reason that consumers are buying. Um, the information tends to be collected through focus groups um, and sort of informal, open-ended questioning. Um, you know, the, the uh, you know, I was thinking in a restaurant that the waiter or waitress will come out and, and say, you know, how's your meal? Um, is it okay? That's a yes, no answer. It's a closed question. If, it, if the meal isn't okay, they'll want to follow that up with some uh, qualitative information. They want to find out why your meal is not okay. Is it too spicy? Was there uh, not enough salt? You know, what, what, what's the problem? Um, so they'll be able to gather numerical information. You know, today all 95% of people thought the meals were okay. 5% uh, of people uh, didn't think they were okay and the reason was that the, the food was too spicy or whatever it is. Um, but that allows the business to start to identify the reasons uh, that consumers are behaving in a particular way and adjust their behaviour accordingly. So, um, the advantages of quantitative data um, it's easy to summarise and analyse, you make lots of nice charts, you can compare this year's figures to last year's. Um, you know, it's nice and easy to gather that research and put it together and, um, and show those patterns. 
Um, it enables the collection of large amounts of data. All right, you might be a small business and collect 100 questionnaires, or you might be a large business and collect 10,000 questionnaires, um, but as it's quantitative data, you can stick that all on the graph and um, it, it allows you to collect large amounts of data, which um, helps you to identify trends and patterns. However, quantitative data doesn't explain the reasons for consumer behaviour. So, you know, 80%, 7% of people prefer our model in white. Okay. Um, but why is that? Well, what is it about the white model that they prefer to the black one? Um, it relies on good uh, quality questioning and honest responses from consumers. So sometimes consumers may not, it's not even that they're being dishonest, but they may not um, uh, respond in the way that they actually would in real life, i.e. would you purchase this product for less than two pounds? Everyone thinks yes, but in reality maybe they wouldn't. Um, qualitative data um, focus groups, etc., asking detailed information, gathering um, the reasons that people are thinking this. You know, what what is it about this white model that you prefer? Okay, now um, in Dubai, where I'm based at the moment, white cars sell very well, um, and the reason being that the uh, desert sand doesn't show up um, as well on the, as much on the white cars as it does on the darker models. Whereas at home in the UK. Um, white cars tend to get dirtier quicker. So it's very interesting for me to have a look at that and that qualitative information. Um, I only found out when I asked someone why there were so many white cars on the road. Um, so uh, qualitative explains the reasons for consumer behaviour and follow-up questions can be asked to clarify, to make sure you understand the reasons that people are giving for their behaviour. However, this will usually be based on small sample sizes, which may not be representative. You know, you, you could ask five people to turn up to uh, an, a, an interview, um, but these, you know, they may be five people who don't have a day job, or they might be five people who, you know, really keen to help out your business and therefore aren't particularly representative of your typical customers. It can be expensive um, to collect. Um, maybe you need to pay the customers to show up, or you've certainly got to um, uh, pay somebody to sit down and ask the questions, um, and then you've got to try and interpret and analyse those results, and it's far more difficult to uh, display those results and draw out uh, generalised patterns from qualitative research. So, in summary, qualitative data uh, providing the reasons that consumers behave in the way they do, quantitative data looking at patterns, identifying uh, uh, the, um, the uh, actual trends in consumer behaviour.